Hi there. So, gonna be doing some hewing. This is a big tooth poplar, big tooth aspen log. And I would like to say that big tooth poplar is not the easiest wood to hew. Um, it's got a lot of knots and it's got a lot of rotten spots. And in, if you are doing the cordwood challenge, I recommend you not fell big tooth poplar with an ax unless you're really experienced and I don't do it. And the reason being, there's almost always big areas of soft rot in the center somewhere in the tree and you'll like very very commonly see uh dead big tooth poplars like this one right here excuse me this one right here and they'll be snapped off like that somewhere you know 12 to 20 feet off the ground and that's where like like the rotten spot broke in like a high wind and that's just really common to see like there's another one and there's another one they just very very commonly have heart rot in them and so when you're felling them it can be very dangerous because if the tree starts to fall and then the tops hang up what you can actually have is the tree will snap in the middle of the stem wherever that rotten spot is and it can actually fold back onto you kind of like a jackknife so they're freaking dangerous um and i mean any tree can do that to you except i've never cut into one of these big tooth um, poplars and not found like a big rotten spot somewhere by the time they get and maybe it's just on this property I mean, this is the only place where I've ever cut them down, but by the time they get to this size, somewhere in the log, you know, there's, there's heart rot. So just be real careful if you're going to mess with this species. But you can see I've laid out my log and uh, we will hew this guy.
Okay, so here's the log, the first face on the log, roughed out, ready to hew down to the line. Um, so one thing that's pretty annoying, besides all the knots in this big tooth poplar, is the grain has a lot of twist in all the ones that I've hewn. You can kind of see, see it how the edge does this zigzag between the score marks so like if this is my line that's more or less in plane with the log you can see the grain is traveling i mean that's pretty close to like a five degree angle maybe um so so that means that the grain wants to sink away from you on the top and bottom edges of the cut and even more extremely uh, around any knots. So it makes for typically less of an even surface.
Okay, so there's the first side hewn. I think I got it pretty flat. See, a big overscore right there. I got a pretty decent surface right here. Uh, see if we can see, see a little better. I can't get it nearly as smooth as I can with some of my other axes. Um, and I think I need to do some more reprofiling on the edge, thinning it down. And I think I would get a little bit better response, but it's a little too wedgy right up at front. I think, uh, it's just my gut feeling, um, But yeah, this is totally serviceable and I can continue hewing with the ax as is. So we will do that. Okay, so here is the finished timber. And I think it turned out pretty good. I did right at the very last minute. This final side, I ran into probably the worst rotten spot uh, that I've got on this timber. But that's not a big deal. It's mostly sound. Um, so I would say this timber is pretty sound overall and I got a decent surface. Um, certainly this is perfectly acceptable for what I'm going to use it for, but, uh, it's much rougher than I can get with, um, some of my other 
axis, but uh, part of that is this timber was particularly twisted. I mean, you can see the way the grain is running out there. It's really hard to have super smooth timbers when the grain is running in kind of such an odd direction. But uh, yeah, so that makes, this is the third timber I've done for the challenge. Got another one over here. This is, this one's a little bit longer, but I cut it out of a much smaller uh, diameter log. So you can see there's a lot of live edge there. Um, and uh, like right here you can see this is a spot like where I was talking where it'll just blow out on you and you can see there's a knot and then I've got one more timber like way over there by the tree stand um, that I did with this uh, it's, it's another 12 footer like this so I've got three timbers done with this axe for the challenge and I think I've got I can't remember but several more to do three or five three to five I can't remember um, uh, I may try and make a timber out of that log there this log I don't think I'll be able to get anything out of just because of that. I think that goes pretty far up and it's, it's basically hollow, like it's just compost right in the middle there. So I don't think I can get anything out of this that, that would be worth using. Uh, but anyway, I hope this uh, video was useful for people and uh, thanks a lot for watching.